Welcome to the National Media Museum. My name's Tony Ross and I've come here to try, try and show you how to draw Horrid Henry and to draw monsters. When I was a child, I wanted to be a, a cowboy, but my mother wouldn't let me go. I wrote to John Wayne when I was very little, and no, no, not so little, when I was obviously big enough to travel by myself. I wrote to John Wayne and said, look, I'd really like to be a cowboy in, in the movies, would you? He never, he didn't answer, he died instead. He didn't answer me, but I told him that I had the hat and the boots and I had everything. I, had a, I didn't have a horse. I'd expect that to be supplied when I got to Hollywood. But that's what I really wanted to be, a cowboy. I became an illustrator for the same reasons that a lot of illustrators <laughs> become illustrators. That is, we really couldn't do anything else. And tried other things. I tried being in advertising. I, I, try, I tried being a steeplejack. I tried all sorts of things. And I was profoundly bad at them all. And I found that drawing was something I could do. When, when you illustrate a story, very often there are clues in the writing of what somebody looks like. For instance, I think Alice in Wonderland is described. So the first thing you do is to read the stories, to see how high Horrid Henry is, how old he is, whether he pulls faces or not, all sorts of information like that. But there were no bits in the stories about how he actually looked, what his nose shape was, or what he was wearing. So. I drew a hairstyle which was just going out of fashion when I started drawing Horrid Henry. I drew, did the mop head sort of Beatles haircut on him because there was few hairstyles like that still around but it wasn't very fashionable. And it's a good idea not to draw fashionable things because they go out of fashion. If you draw something that isn't in fashion you've got a better chance of it staying around. So I did the mop head haircut partly because I thought it looked funny and Secondly, because Horrid Henry is the only one in those books that has it. So all the other characters I draw, they don't have hair like his. So whichever way you're looking at Henry, from the back or from the side or the front, you can always tell it's Henry because of his haircut. I can't draw pretty women. If I try and draw pretty women, they turn out looking quite grotesque. Uh, I can draw <laughs> grotesque women. Uh, witches and witches and evil queens and that sort of thing, wonderful, but the pretty little princess, very difficult. Out of Horrid Henry, my favourite character draw is Miss Battleaxe, obviously, because <laughs> I've just talked about uh, wicked women. Uh, so Miss Battleaxe, I love drawing Miss Battleaxe. And I quite like drawing Moody Margaret as well. I have more trouble with uh, um, Sour Susan. If you want to be an illustrator, and you can draw just a little bit, you'll know it's right for you if you really love the business of drawing, if you enjoy it. Because if you enjoy your drawing, people looking at your drawing are going to enjoy your drawing as well. If you don't like what you're doing, people are not going to like your drawing. And remember that starting off can be quite hard. It's not like getting into Manchester United's first team on your first crack you've got to spend quite a lot of time in the reserves. So it doesn't all happen at once. But if you really want it, go for it, and it will happen. I've never known anybody who really wants to be an illustrator fail. <laughs>